Alternative Press Magazine is celebrating their 25th anniversary covering the alternative rock and underground music scene. And to commemorate the occasion, they will be releasing multiple special issues along with events across America in 2010, including art expos in LA and New York, and several fan appreciation parties in select cities. Having been an integral part covering the music scene since 1985, countless of the world's most successful bands have graced the covers of AP, and many of those same musicians have also lent their artwork for a very special VIP group art expo. At the kickoff of the art show in LA on July 9th, industry insiders were treated to one-of-a-kind artwork from the likes of Marilyn Manson, Gerard Way of My Chemical Romance, Black Francis of the Pixies, Shirley Manson of Garbage, Tim Armstrong of Rancid, Fallout Boy, and Adam Jones from Tool, just to name a few. Also showcased at the exhibit were many of AP's most famous covers from the past 25 years, along with memorabilia and photographs celebrating the magazine's most successful issues. Artisan News caught up with Mark Porter McKnight of Atreyu to get his thoughts on being asked to be a part of the exhibit, celebrating 25 successful years of AP Magazine, and why he will always be an artist. It's an honor to be a part of, I don't know, just a 25-year anniversary of anything, much less such a magazine as AP, with as many names that are in this show, you know, like it's a legitimate honor for me, so. I've been doing art since as long as I can remember. I've been drawing and painting my whole life, reading comic books and drawing with that and getting inspiration from that world. The second, my dad bought me a camera in like sixth grade, I think, just a cheap Minolta, whatever. And I think I took nine rolls of film that first day and have been shooting pictures ever since. And I still do that, like when the traveling with the band to the state. And so, yeah, I mean, just really as long as I can remember and it's probably the only thing that I'll do consistently for the rest of my life. It's like I can't see myself straying away from this path. We also caught up with AP Magazine founder and current president Mike Shea to get his thoughts on the art show bridging the gap for fans of art and music over the past three generations. We represent so far about three different generations of music fans from the 80s and the 90s into now. And so for us, the main key was to try and find a way to thread them all together. And art and musicians seem to be those two things that don't really get mentioned a lot. Um, usually people see musicians as, uh, you know, uh, falling apart and performing, and that's it. And so for us, we thought it would be a much better idea to present a lot of their other sides that a lot of the public doesn't get a chance to see, and, but present it from the three generations that we have. So. Liz McGrath of Miss Derringer also talked about being a part of AP Magazine's 25th anniversary art exhibition. Oh, I was really excited. I'm actually um, have a stack of AR magazines that um, I mean AP magazines at the um, at my house, and so I was kind of um, I don't know. I kind of um, I always hear about new bands that I want to check out through there, and I want to um, and also I can keep up with the bands I really like. So it's been cool. <laughs> The gallery is currently running in L.A. at the Mary Karnowski Gallery until July 24th. Other artists contributing to the exhibit are Shepard Ferry, Matt Skiba of Alkaline Trio, Joby F. Ford of the Bronx, Travi McCoy, Anthony Green of Circa Survive, and Jordan Buckley of Every Time I Die.